Hi, this is culture and communication strategist Gino Parati, and in this video I'm going to be discussing one of the components of the 10 channels of nonverbal communication. In this video we're going to be discussing chronemics, and by the end you will have an understanding of a definition for it and how to effectively use chronemics to build a genuine personal brand. I generally define chronemics as how we use and observe time. Chronemics, chron like chronology, so chron means time. And basically what we're looking at is how cultures influence how individuals believe is on time versus late. That's, that's one aspect of it. So chronemics really does get tied in with intercultural studies. And just like my previous video on physical appearance, the standards for chronemics are also determined by place and time, which is how culture is, uh, is built. So where you are, what country, what, um, what area of that country, what city, maybe it's the, the rural countryside, all of that is going to influence the vision of time. Um, and what we mean by time in this uh, context where the standards are determined by place and time, I'm not referring to chronemics itself, but as I explained in the previous physical appearance video, it means more time period because how we saw time in the 1700s or the 1800s, the 1900s, and now we're in the 2000s, all that's going to shift because of uh, our lifestyles that are located in that particular era. So uh, chronemics is tied, like I said, to our culture. And let's use where I'm located, which is New York City, as an example. So that's the place, New York City. And the time is the year 2019. Uh, New York is, of course, a really fast-paced city compared to many other places. But even in this fast-paced city, there are still some things that slow us down. And any New Yorker understands that that is the, the subway and the, the MTA, the Metropolitan Transit Authority. So with the MTA, you know, we can't always get to places on time because we can't control whether or not there are subway delays. And therefore, there's an understanding in cities like New York that despite the hectic pace, showing up five, ten minutes late for something isn't always a horrible thing simply because of the, uh, the transportation issues that I just explained. Another as uh, aspect of chronemics that can be really interesting is our age combined with our role and whether or not we think the age is appropriate for that role. So that is an aspect of chronemics because it has to do with timing. Think of the example, there was a, a character on a TV show called Doogie Howser, MD. I think it was in the late 80s, early 90s, if I'm remembering correctly. And it was about a young medical prodigy. So a, a really young person who was a medical doctor. And part of the comedy of that was seeing the patients uh, face when such a young doctor would walk in and diagnose them. We're suspicious that someone that young could actually have all the knowledge and all the experience accumulated to have uh, to be a doctor at that young age. So the timing was off. There have been some nonverbal studies about on and off time grandparenting, which means that people have a certain expectation of how old you will be when you are a grandparent. And if you are younger than that expectation or you are older than that expectation, they question it and they're wondering why it's off from their expectation because the timing doesn't seem to match with what they think it should be. So the timing communicates something um, based on the age and the rule. So what I'm recommending for a genuine personal brand, genuine of course meaning that it is actually you, you're not acting, pretending to be something you're not, Match the standard that your customers, your clients, your audience, whoever it is that you are interacting with, match the standard that they expect of you based on their culture along with your personality. So if you are someone who's typically late, you know, instead of being 30 minutes late, maybe you can show up right on time or um, as a university lecturer, if my class starts at 3 p.m., I can't walk in the door at 3 p.m. I need to show up at least five minutes early so I can get the technology ready, write my lesson on the board. Um, match the standard with your personality so to create the best personal brand for whatever role it is that you are uh, perpetuating for the people with whom you're interacting.